Hi, this is Mike, and this video is going to attempt to answer the question, what is the probability of filling out a perfect March Madness bracket? I'm going to assume you already have some basic knowledge about how it works, but very briefly, there are 64 basketball teams competing in a, turn in a single elimination tournament. That means that there's going to be 63 total games. Uh, they divide it into four divisions, and in each division, in round number one, the, bet, the number one seeded team plays the 16th seeded team. The second um, seeded plays the 15th. The third plays the 14th, and so on. And then they take the winners from all the round one uh, games, and um, then they play each other in round two. And eventually you end up with just one winner. Now, every March it always... Um, comes up in the media, what is the probability of filling out a perfect bracket? And it makes the hair on the back of my neck stand out, stand up when I hear the figure uh, 1 in uh, 9 quintillion, 223 quadrillion, 372 trillion, um, 36 billion, 854 million, 781,000, I believe. This is simply the probability of um, correctly predicting 63 coin flips in a row. Uh, I don't think anyone fills out a March Madness bracket that way because some teams are obviously better than others. For example, a 1 seed is obviously better than a 16 seed. Uh, before I go any further, let me say that this Video was shot in April 2018, so it's based on every single March Madness game played from 1985 through 2018. Um, okay, I also wanted to address another video on YouTube by a Professor Jeff Bergen. He says that with uh, some strategy that he doesn't get into, the probability of a perfect bracket is 1 in 128 billion. Um, that number is actually kind of close to the figure I get. I would challenge Professor Bergen to elaborate on how he gets that figure, but I am going to elaborate for you about how I get my figure. Now, my strategy is very simple. You always pick the um, higher ranked team in every single game, and eventually you will be left with just uh, four number one seeded teams, in which case you can pick randomly. Um, before someone writes in the comments, let me say that you can improve upon this even more by looking at the um, current um, odds on the games. And um, for example, it, when it comes down to uh, one seed against a one seed, you can look at, at the going offshore Las Vegas odds to basically see who has the better chance of winning. But I'm not going to get into that. This video is simply going to be based upon picking the better seated team every single time and again if it when it gets down to four the four number one seats then just um, pick randomly okay I think that's all I need to say for the introduction let me apologize in advance that the next part of this video I'm going to be using a tablet I've already had a great deal of technical problems getting this to um, work properly so I thought I would shoot the introduction this way so yeah, without further ado, um, here is how to calculate the probability of a perfect March Madness bracket given the strategy I just said. All right, here we go. This is my first video ever made with a um, creative pen tablet, if that's the right term for it. I've always wanted to make these Khan Academy kind of videos, but about gambling and math. So. Uh, with the introduction out of the way, let's get right into um, the calculations. So the probability of a 1 seed beating a 16 seed, um, I estimate as the uh, 135 out of 136 because um, so far there have been 136 such games and the one seed won 135 times. So that's the probability of any the one seed winning any given one game, which is 99.26%. However, there's four different um, divisions. So you have to achieve this four different times. So take this to the fourth power. 
Now, um, there's also four different um, games where a two seed plays the 15 seed. In the 136 times, this has happened. The number two seed has won 127 times. So the probability, again, given historical data of the of a two seed beating a 15 seed is 93.38%. And you have to do this four times as well for the four different divisions. Likewise, the probability of a three seed beating a 14 seed is 115 divided by 136. And again, you have to do that four different times. Then the probability of a four seed beating a 13 seed is 108 divided by 136. And again, take it to the fourth power for the four games that you have to uh, win. So the probability of a five seed beating a 12 seed is 89. And 136 which is about 65.44%. Into the fourth power, the probability of a six seed beating an 11 seed is 85 and 136, which for any given game is 62.5%. Um, probability of a seven seed beating a 10 seed is 83 in 136. The probability of each game winning is 62 point, I'm sorry, 61.03%. Um, and the probability of a, finally, of a eight seed beating a nine seed is 71 and 136. And again, you have to do that four different times. And um, so if you win all of these games, you will advance um, past round one. Then in round two, you're going to have the uh, one seeds uh, playing against the eight seeds. This has happened 72 times so far. And of the um, of those 72 times, the one seed has beaten the eight seed 58 times. So the probability of a one seed beating an eight seed is 80.56%, and you still have to do that four different times. Then the four seeds will play the five seeds. This has happened 73 times so far, and 41 times the four seed won for a probability in each game of 56.16%. still have four divisions, so take it to the fourth power. Then the three seeds will play the six seeds. Um, the three seeds have won 41 out of 70 times. For probability of winning a 58.57% of each game. And finally, to pass round two, uh, the two seeds will play the seven seeds. 
the two seed has won 56 times in 79 times it's happened. For probability each time of 70.89%. All right, so assuming you win all those games, then you go on to round three, where the one seeds will play the four seeds. This has happened four, uh, 61 times so far in tournament history and 44 times the one seed won. So for a probability each time of 72.13%. Then the two seeds will play the three seeds. That has happened 52 times so far and 32 of those times the two seed won. And again, that still has to happen four different times. And assuming that you win all of those games, then um, you're going to be left with just um, one seeds and two seeds. The probability of a one seed beating a two seed is 35 and 64, again, based on historical games. And you, this still has to happen four times for the four divisions. Now, if you get this far, then you will have won all four divisions, and you will have the number one um, team on top each time. Here's where you start picking randomly. There will be, um, you need three more games to determine the best out of four teams. And like I said in the introduction, you just pick randomly. So your chances of winning each time will be one and two, and three more games. So that is your probability of winning using my strategy. And this works out to a probability of one in 42 billion, 743 million, 890,000, and 552. So there you have it. I believe this to be the most accurate figure out there of filling out a perfect March Madness bracket. As I said in the introduction, you can improve upon this by looking at the um, current odds in the betting market. And thank you for watching this video. I know that um, it wasn't that good. Consider this a learning experience for me. And again, this is all in writing on my website, wizardofodds.com, in the sports betting section and then look for the page on how to fill out a perfect March Madness bracket. And I don't think there's anything more to say. So thank you for watching.